Hello SEO followers! I'm super excited for this video because I'm going to talk about SEO horror stories when it comes to website migrations. Website migrations are hard, let's be honest, because there are so many moving parts that go into play while you do a migration on any website. And earlier this year, I asked my followers to talk about the horror stories that they face during website migrations. And I asked my friend to go over these horror stories with you because, trust me, she knows about her much more than I do. Okay, over to you. I'll share with you eight horror stories about website migrations. What you need to understand is a horror story is usually a mistake made by someone in the process of website migration or multiple mistakes. The first mistake that I'm going to cover is not including an SEO in the process of migration early enough. What you might see sometimes is that websites are being migrated without any SEO supporting it. And then at the end, the client comes to you and says, just add your SEO magic. And it doesn't work this way. Here is an example of a website that has been moved from uh, HTML to React.js without any SEO consideration. I wouldn't like to be that website because you see that traffic dropped almost overnight. The second mistake with website migrations is redirecting all pages of the old website to the home page of the new website. This is a very common mistake. And what happens in this case is that Google just disregards most of these URLs because the redirects are coming to the pages of a different type so that Google just ignores most of these redirects. And this means that you lose all this hard earned traffic and trust to the internal pages of the website. Don't do that. The third mistake is the opposite no redirects are implemented at all. And it means that you start from scratch. Basically, in this case, you again lose all the hard earned trust and authority and traffic of the internal pages that they acquired over time. And you just start from scratch. Why not start a new website then? But if you want to migrate the old website and make sure that all the work that has been done before is carried out to the new website, don't make this mistake. The next mistake is leaving a website no index after going live. This also happens a lot. And in most of the cases, one of the reasons is because the staging website is no index, which is a good way to uh, handle staging websites. But when you go live, it's really crucial to have the no index removed so that Google can see and index the new pages. In this example that you see on the screen right now, there is a graph of the website with the old website having this traffic and then it slowly, um, slowly lost all the traffic just because it has been redirected. So basically the old pages were not already uh, working but they were redirecting to the website, uh, to the new website that has been no indexed. So basically Google can't pick up any information about the page if it's no indexed. So in this case, they just shoot themselves in the foot or in the head. The next mistake is disallowing crawling of the website when it goes live. It's very similar to no index, but a little bit different. I would not recommend, first of all, to use disallow and the robust.txt to disallow your staging website from Google because it does not remove or it does not prevent indexing of the website. That is crucial to understand. But in any case, if the robust.txt and this disallow and robust.txt is used, it must be removed before the website goes live. Don't forget it and don't forget to tell about this to your developers.
The next mistake is SEO requirements are not implemented. I would say that by far this is the most common mistake and it leads to a lot of horror stories with website migrations. Even if you are an SEO who is supporting the website migration, first of all, your communication might not be clear or your recommendations might be just disregarded. And even if you're the best and you provide all the best recommendations, but you are not heard, it means that sometimes your recommendations might not be implemented. And in this case, like you see on the screen, the traffic of the website will go down and then you will be asked why. And then, or if it's a client, they'll come to you begging to help them, which, well, might be good for your ego, but then still the traffic is gone. Don't do that. The seventh mistake or horror story is when an SEO supporting the website migration didn't do the work properly. And fortunately, this happens too. You can read this story on the screen. And when you go into website migration as an SEO, it's crucial that you know what you're doing. And none of the SEOs is born or inherited like any knowledge about website migrations. You need to learn specific steps of migrating website, all the five stages and all the steps on each and every page in order to do your job properly. This is super important. And the last mistake or horror story, it causes lots of horror stories, is lack of cross-team communication and collaboration. Website migrations are complex projects and they involve multiple teams. They always involve multiple teams of developers, of project manager, managers, and also uh, the C-suite. And so many different, so many different people are on the project. And it is important that every part of this website migration team has the information that they need to have at the right time. So cross-team communication and collaboration are crucial for successful website migrations. If you're an SEO and you want to successfully support website migrations so that a website migration that you're working on does not turn into a horror story, I would highly recommend downloading this free checklist on website migrations. It will walk you through all five stages of the website migrations and every single thing that you need to do on each of these stages as an SEO, plus how to communicate and collaborate inside of the teams. This will set you apart as an SEO, as an experienced SEO who knows technical SEO and who also knows how to handle the most and the hardest website projects, such as website migrations. Stay safe, kids. <laughs>